वन वेलकम एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग एस टूडे इन दिस सेशन वेर विल टॉक अबाउट वर्ट एक्स ए आई प्रोडिक्शन सर्विस माई नेम इज़ सुरभि जैन एंड आई एम अ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर ऑन वर्ट एक्स ए आई ऑल्सो जॉइनिंग एस टूडे इज यी फू हु इज़ अ स्टाफ मशीन लर्निंग इंजीनियर एट एच एम वेलकम यी एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग एस टूडे थैंक यू फॉर है Cool. So let's talk about Vertex AI prediction service. It is an integrated part of Vertex AI. When users have a trained machine learning model and they are ready to start serving requests from it, that is where we come in. Our vision is to make it absolutely seamless to reliably, safely, scalably, and cost-effectively deploy an ML model in production, irrespective of where the model was trained. So how do we do that? Let's look at some key differentiated capabilities of Vertex AI prediction service. We offer low TCO, which means the overall cost of serving is low. Because Vertex AI is a fully managed service, that means we alleviate the ops burden on you. Seamless auto scaling reduces the need to over provision hardware. We have a wide variety of VM and GPU types that enable you to pick the most cost effective hardware for a given model. In addition, we have many proprietary optimizations in our backend that further reduce cost as opposed to open source. We also have deep integrations that are built with other parts of the platform. For example, out of the box logging in Stack Driver, or built-in integration for request response logging in BigQuery, or pre-built components to deploy models from pipelines on a regular basis. Vertex AI prediction service is also intelligent and assistive, which means we offer capabilities to track how the model is doing once it is deployed into production, but also understand why it may it is making certain predictions. Next, we have built-in security and compliance. You can deploy your models in your secure perimeter via VPC SC integration. Control who has access to your endpoints, and your data is protected at all times. and lastly with private endpoints prediction service introduces less than 2 milliseconds of overhead latency so now let's look at some of the new capabilities that we have released in the recent past we launched optimized tensorflow runtime to public preview that allows serving tensorflow models at a lower cost and lower latency than open source prebuilt tensorflow containers tensorflow serving containers the optimized tensorflow runtime lets you take advantage of some of the proprietary technologies and model optimization techniques that are used internally at google we also launched custom prediction routines in private preview custom prediction routines make pre processing the model input and or post processing the model output as easy as writing a python function we've also integrated it with vertex sdk that allows users to build their custom containers with their own custom predictor without having to write a model server or having significant knowledge of docker it also lets you test the built images locally very easily along with this we also launched support for co-hosting tensorflow models on the same virtual machine this is also in private preview at the moment so let's say you have a lot of models that receive traffic sparsely in those cases deploying models on the same virtual machine enable resource sharing and hence cost efficiency we've also made significant improvements to a public endpoints overhead latency and last but not the least private endpoints are now ga Now I'd like to take an opportunity to give a sneak peek into what's coming next on Vertex AI prediction. We are working on offering pre-built containers for serving PyTorch models on Vertex AI. This will alleviate the need to build custom containers for serving PyTorch models and make it as easy as few clicks to deploy PyTorch models on Vertex. We're also working on built-in feature store integration, which means that users do not have to separately fetch features from feature store themselves and then send it to prediction we will do it for you with inference pipelines users can chain together multiple ml models and other services into a single endpoint so users then call this endpoint and then it calls the pipeline of models and services on behalf of the users and then returns the result next is config autopilot 
which will automatically search for the most optimal hardware and deployment configuration to lower the cost while at the same time also meeting latency requirements. With Config Autopilot, users will not need to manually experiment with various hardware and deployment configurations. And last but not the least, we are also working on making co-hosting capability as that I previously described available for all model frameworks with dynamic loading and unloading from disk on the fly to make it further cost efficient to serve predictions. So there are definitely a lot of exciting things in the pipeline. And with that, I'll hand it over to Yi, who will share his team's experience of building their services at HM with Vertex AI. Over to you, Yi. Thank you, Serbi. My name is Yi. I'm the staff machine learning engineer at HM Group. Today, I'm super excited to be here to share our experience on Vertex AI. Let's start with HM. We are a leading global fashion retailer. We have both physical stores and online e-commerce platforms all over the world. We are transitioning ourselves to be more digital and more data-driven so we can understand our customers better at the same time to keep our business more sustainable. We are at the front line of so-called AI-driven retail. Our vision is to augment all our core business processes by AI. As part of this big vision, one of our mission is to offer our, our online customers a personalized shopping experience by recommending them the most relevant products out of thousands of options. While we do this project, we faced a bunch of challenges. The first one comes from the feature generation side. We got a requirement, the feature needs to be generated and available within five seconds. We use a bunch of services from Google G Cloud, like PubSub, Dataflow, and Feature Store to achieve this goal. And you can see from the metric diagram, the performance exceeds our expectation. Another challenge is on single source of choose. We want both our customer training job as well as the online serving job use the same sort of data, uh, data source. And Vertex AI feature store offer both offline store and online store and keep the features in sync automatically. Let's take a look and on the serving side, there are a bunch of challenges there as well. We want to run multiple model versions so we can enable A-B testing. The model we wrote is on PyTorch. We need a way to deploy it. In the retail business, it's very common to face high volume traffic in the event such as Black Friday. So we need to handle high traffic spike. And of course, low latency is the basic requirement for both model and feature serving. Let's take a look at how Vertex AI prepared us to address those challenges. It has a, a feature called traffic split to allow multiple version runs simultaneously. And we can decide how to distribute the traffic to different endpoints. It supports deploy models as Docker container, so arbitrary models can be deployed. It has auto scaling built in, and as well as built in performance optimization, such as caching. What are the key takeaways from this project? Choose the platform which offer the whole suite of a whole suite of uh, components required by your by your system. Why not choose the platform? which offers best practices embedded in their services. If you need to serve millions of users worldwide, you need to consider the performance and the system reliability. Use fully managed services, even serverless services as much as possible. This will reduce the number of time you spend on DevOps, which leads to less time to market. 
what are we going to do next? We're going to integrate Vertex AI more into our a, a, a data and AI platform. We're going to onboard more use cases into Vertex AI. We also identified some reusable components, such as feature store. So we have a plan to reuse them for other use cases. Last but not least, we want to try out other features, such as monitoring, as well as batch serving. That's all from me today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yi, for joining us and sharing your experience. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our talk today. Thank you for joining.